Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender in Europe, game designed by Salvatore Vasto, published by GMT Games. This is the campaign series that I'm calling the Cuckoo Campaign, which stands for Crippled UK, Collapsed the USSR. It is a uh, very aggressive strategy by the Axis. Uh, they are willing to go all the way up to nine uh, conquered countries if they have to in order to achieve their goals. Uh, the ultimate goal is to capture Basra slash Kuwait and therefore be plus three against the Russians even though the Russians would be plus three against them. So that keeps that even, and they would be plus six against the West, which will most likely any factor they lose in the East will usually get back in the West. <clears throat> I'm doing my best to defend against this, and we're going to see how this all works out. Uh, right now we're getting ready to go into do -do 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 -do, uh, April of 1940. I think this is three turns long. We will see how much I can get done in 30 minutes, or thereabouts, and away we go. So, uh, there were no declarations of war. Production is the same as it's always been. We get to strategic movement. I moved that guy into Athens. Uh, he goes ahead and runs a garrison up past my uh, my Dane. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It captures Denmark. So we put a pro-axis in the... I think we're looking here. We're trying to see if we put in the right number of pro-axis markers. Uh... Then he flies his airplane. What's it do here? Uh, getting a little lost, but he has all three airplanes in the south. Puts a unit in the uh, in with the convoy, so we can do an invasion at some point. Uh, brings up. German infantry getting ready for the invasion of France. And I believe he's done. Um, this is another move of uh, those of you in the UK players in the West. This is the other. This fleet stays there to help screw around with invasions. By putting home guard here, you keep, if the Germans land here or here, they cannot advance a hex into London nor can they attack into London if you're not in it. So by sitting here, you prevent that, which keeps them from capturing London. That leaves only Southampton and Plymouth for them to take in order to be able to, because they can only invade one sea zone. They have to take those two cities in order to have a supply source from their convoy if they come across on a, on a sea line. So that's another little tidbit. And then, uh, in the West, I didn't do anything. Uh, just my supply phase. Uh, Soviets didn't do anything. We go to no supply. Replacements for the Axis. Of course, they're going to bring down their airplanes. Uh, the race replacement for the West is going to be something similar. Bring down the French stuff. Uh, and the British. There's no upgrades. Mobilization for the Axis. I don't think anybody had anything to build this turn. Oh, yeah, I had the French infantry unit that I go ahead and build in La Harpe. Uh, I was worried about a fair weather in uh, in May, and then if this guy's too close to the front, he's just a dead unit. So I'll hold a city further back. Uh, oh, we're in diplomacy. Diplomacy phase. Axis finally get a pro axis marker. Now I can't remember if what he does here. Got the pro axis. And I think he went ahead and pulled up. Yeah, he pulled in the Italians. 
I went ahead and activated the Italians. So, this is him setting up the Italians all over the place. I'll get this out of the way. Let's zoom out so you can see a little bit better how he's laying out his Italians. Um, Pointed out to him that that guy can't move anywhere. He's like, that's fine. And then I get to set up a uh, Mediterranean crisis happens, so I get to set up some Frenchmen, and I'm like, yeah, okay, let's protect North Africa, protect Corsica, and then I, I give up on. I don't try to protect Syria because there's no real threat there until the Turks come in. So I set up here to keep any surprise attack marker stuff from happening to me. Uh, the British, obviously, they, they have to set up here. They set up both units there. And then I get to put the French convoy in Algiers. I put the British convoy in Casablanca. That's because I'm going to try and bring that garrison unit home right away. And then we go into the western diplomacy phase. Now we know that the political failure is not in there. So I believe I can't remember what I did. I went ahead and pulled and got one of their pro markers out of the cup, so I'm diluting the cup that way. Oh no, we're just looking to see what's in there. I was looking to see what was in there and Trying to figure out what my best play was there. Went ahead and pulled. Political success. Oh, what I did with it. What did I do with the political success? I did something with it. I don't know what I did. I'm not sure exactly what we just did there. Let's back this up. So we're here. Pulled a political success. Oh, I removed the Romanian thing with political success. Make it harder for him to get Romania. That's what I did. And then I put in the area siege and no event for the Russians. That's what I did. Okay. So now we go into May of 1940. So we're going to go to weather. And... He gets a 6-1-1. Severe in the cold, fair in the other two. Which is a very good die roll for him. So he's got a chance of getting five fair weather turns here in the west. Which is going to hurt immensely. And away we go. Oh, he declares war on Belgium. So I put my stuff on the track, and I put Belgium's there. And I was waiting. He goes, nope, that's it. I'm all done. He's not going to declare war on the Netherlands. He's going to save that. Again, um, this is a political, long-term political strategy. Since he conquered Hungary, he has chits in the cup and whatnot. And what he's looking to do here is to keep that Netherlands in his pocket. So that if he has to, he can quickly uh, defeat it and like remove a pro marker that I might have put like in, in Spain, or I put in Turkey or something, so he can keep the keep control of the political um, arena, is what he's trying to do. Which makes perfect sense, when you think about it. He's using the game mechanics to his advantage. Uh, economies were like, uh, it's nothing changed yet. We won't do strategic warfare till next turn. Uh, we get to strategic movement. I'm not sure what he does it does anything at all. Don't think he moved anything at all. So it's, just, it's all about taking out France at this point. Oh, he strategically moved into Genoa. That's what he did. So he'd be there for next turn. And then I strategically moved 
this guy into Alexandria. So I'd be available for the future. I'm trying to stack things, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Soviets didn't have one. So now we're into Axis Operations. Um, so it's kind of straightforward. He goes ahead and takes out this guy at plus two to minus two. He rolled a one. Plus two is a three. I rolled a four. Minus two is a two. So I took one that time. And uh, I need to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's using the wrong aircraft. Let's zoom in here. He's using the wrong aircraft, I think. I rolled a 5 plus 1 is a 6 to my minus 3, so I'm going to take 2. 3. We had to see if I would take 3 or 2. There we go. And then he goes in one more time and just says, you're done. And then the Panzer moves out, it's one, and then attacks Sedan. So he's plus three to my plus one. We're in combat commitment here. Uh, I chose not to commit on that one. He threw in an airplane, so he's now plus five to my plus one. He rolled an 11 and I rolled a four, so I'm flipped and retreated. Takes Sedan. Then he attacks. It's one, two, three, four. He attacks this infantry in the clear, so he's plus four to my plus one. Uh, combat commitment again. Da -da 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 -da. This time I did throw in my tanks. Figured I need to try and slow him down, maybe. Uh, he threw in another airplane, of course. And so he's plus six to my plus three. He rolls an eight. I rolled a five plus three is an eight, so I held for one round. So we spend two more movement points. So it's one, four, six, seven, eight. So he has two left. And he attacks at plus four to plus one. Threw in an airplane, so he's at plus six to plus one. He rolled a ten. I rolled a six plus one is a seven. As long as I am, is retreated. And I retreated there. wasn't really thinking. Um, I could have retreated either way, but I just retreated to the south. Panzer took and then attacked there. I'm at minus one net. He's at plus four. He didn't choose to use an airplane this time. Six, uh, two plus four is a six. I rolled a five. Minus one is a four. So it was only retreated. And he said, no, I'm not going to take the hex. So he went ahead and took the hex because he's going to be moving other things in to do my attacks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and nine. You can't get there. I don't think he can get there with that infantry in it. Told him that he can't. It was one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, because he owns that city, so it's only one for that hex in the river. And in 7-8, takes Belgium. Ta-da. So we go through that, and he gets a Diplomacy Cup. He can't place anything. Did he? Yes. So he moves this infantry. Where did that come from? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8... To there. And then this armored unit came from there. Goes one, two, three, four. So if 
five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. I was just double checking things. So he's attacking there. He's got three movement points left. He's starting off at plus three to my plus one. Uh, why is he only plus two? Oh, we're doing air combat. <clears throat> so he's using his uh, airplane from the back here, this one. So it's plus two to plus one. He rolled a four. I rolled a two. So we both got in. Oh, come on. Why is he not marking? There we go. And I believe I just defended at three. Plus five to plus three. Which was dumb on my part. I should have thrown my tank. He rolled a five plus five is a ten. I rolled a four plus three is a seven. So I actually held for a turn. Ten to a seven is not... Is a flip. Which is why I should have thrown my tank right away. So that was my mistake. So he attacks again, and I do throw my tank, and we fly, fight another air combat. He gets a 1 plus 1 as a 2. I got a, didn't do anything really to him, so we each go up sortie. We both get in. He will go up to plus 5. I will be plus... So I'm starting off at minus 1, plus 4, so I should be at plus 3. So it's plus 5 to plus 3. He rolled a 1 plus 5 as a 6. He's like, ah, I'm not going to push him out. And I rolled a 1, plus 4, plus 3 is a 4. So I am forced to retreat, which I cannot do, so I am actually eliminated. And he was amazed. And he took Lil. So, French are down to uh, 4 will points and a factory. The British are down a will point. Why is he moving his... Oh, he got the airplane out of the way so he could move the infantry up. And then he attacks there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, since he has Lil, he can actually do this and not worry about supply. So he threw in an airplane. Why is he at... He should be at six. There we are. He just went in, he didn't throw in an airplane. He just went in at plus two to plus one. He rolled a three, I rolled a six, so let's stop that. And he just moves up there. And I think he gets off another attack. This time he does throw in an airplane, so he's plus four to plus one. Uh, he gets an eight, and I get a six plus one as a seven, so the French are holding... Even though the British got destroyed, the French are holding. For what it's worth. And then he moves this infantry up to there. That one up to there. And then he has the Italians. I think he has the Italians. All attack together. Maybe he just attacks. Yeah, he's attacking at two... I must have thrown his tanks in two. Anyway, he rolled an eight and I rolled a four, but I don't see his tanks marker being played. I think he just put it on the turn track right away. That's what he did. Yeah, he just put it on the turn track. And so he forced me to retreat, so he's making a breakthrough in the Alps. Uh, what is he doing now? I think he attacked again. This time he's minus two for the rough terrain and the Alp. He was just, if he can force me to treat once more, he can run the Italians around and capture Dijon and Lyon and all sorts of things. So uh, He rolled a five and I rolled a four. So he had a chance to get it and I got lucky and did lose that. Uh, I moved this guy up to do an assault this guy up to do an assault. So he's 1, 2, 3, minus 2. I think he's plus 1 to plus 1. Again, same thing. He's just trying to be able to break through 
plus one to most one. And he rolled a one plus one is a two. So that was the primary. I rolled a six plus one, which is a seven. And a two to a seven is flip the guy. So yay, I did something. This Italian moved here. That's when we realized that he never... Uh, he was adjusting some German infantry moves, and I said, okay. And now we're... He's down here, and he's running supply. Uh, he runs up these two infantry that are you know, defending out in the open, and you let the guy in the fort, and the guy in Tripoli go to low supply out of Tripoli. And then I moved the French fleet to Tunis so I can try to do some intervention. And then the convoy brings the garrison into Marseille and then ends its turn in Tunis with the fleet. And what else did we do? Oh, I got my airplane in at the end of his operations phase. Just trying to figure out where to put it. And I think here as I go ahead and do an attack, at plus one to zero. I rolled a 7, he rolled a 2, so it was moved and flipped, and I was like, oh, look at that. I guess I'll attack at 0 to minus 2. Got a 5. It wasn't high enough, and he rolled a 4, minus 2, so he's retreated. Went there, and I went ahead and took this hex this way. That way he couldn't force me to retreat and end up being isolated or whatever. This keeps me from being in that situation, and now he's got issues that he's got to take care of with the Italians. Uh, this guy, of course the British just get down here and protect the Nile. And Force H says, we don't want to be over there, we want to be over here. He didn't want to come out and play with Force H. And what else do we do? I moved the airplane. I realized I had to place the airplane in a city. So I was like, ah, what do I do? Why am I not placing it in a city? I think we broke another rule there. I'm in the supply subphase, and that airplane has to be in a city. Because it's mobilized. And then I moved that convoy. Since I didn't have the BEF in France anymore. I said, what's the point of being anywhere where German aircraft might catch up to me? And so I just moved it to Gibraltar and said, the heck with this. Uh, and then we're in replacements, so obviously the Axis do their replacement stuff. He did his two convoys, or his convoy, his airplane, and his infantry for the Italians. Oops, excuse me. Uh, Oh, we're doing different German aircraft. And then we go to the west, and I bring down my aircraft. That aircraft shouldn't be there. It should be in a city. I believe I have to place it as if it was mobilized. We talked about that, and I said, oh, I, yeah, I had to put this in a city. I can't just have it sitting on a rail line. So we moved it to a city. And that's me doing my convoys in the Middle East. And then he's Soviets. We're to mobilization. Nobody had anything to build, so we're into diplomacy. Diplomacy for the Germans. He pulled a pro axis. He's like, yay, I got a pro axis marker. And I'm not sure. I think he put it in Yugoslavia. That's adjacent to active country. So he's trying to bring them in. And then what did I do here? OK, 
Okay, as the British, I put in two no events to try and dilute the cup. The Russians went ahead and pulled, got a no event. They were trying to get some of their area seized markers. Uh, but in general, we're trying to dilute the cup at this point rather than try and get any more political successes. Uh, and we go to end of turn. We just get some stuff off the track. Oh, yeah, and I picked up a, uh, I got an airplane for the British that I can build. And the BEF comes back to being able to be built. It's got two garrisons he can build. And then we are into weather for June. So we have to look at the fair line in June. So it's a one through three in the cold zone, one through four in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the mild zone, one through four in the fair zone. And he rolls a 1, 6, and a 1. So it's going to be fair, poor, fair. So France gets a breather. And we go on into here. This is June. Going to go a little bit over, I think. But uh, production is standard for the moment. Uh, we both... Uh, we're both down one, so the Germans are going to be at 26, and the British are going to be at 16. The French lost a factory, so they're at 14. Uh, then we go to strategic warfare against the West. It should be 0 to 0. And we roll. He gets a 3. I get a 1. So my dice have begun. I lose a factory. Factory loss marker goes up one. Uh, strategic movement for the Axis... Sure, what he does. Uh, I think he just started off moving again, didn't let me do any strategic moves, which was very upsetting. So I'm confused on how we got here. I do know in May that I moved this guy into here, which was probably a mistake, uh, but that's what I did. But he's, we've gone right by any strategic moves, so. Anyway, he does an assault here on uh, the Alpini. He is uh, plus two for German, plus one for an Italian. I think he throws in an Italian air. So he gets up to plus two, plus three, plus four, minus two. He should be at plus two, I think. He might be only just assaulting with the German. Yeah, there we are. Plus two. So he rolled a six. I rolled a six plus one. He rolled a four plus two. I rolled a four six plus one. So I held. This was his move down here to get me out of the way. So he's a zero to my plus. What is this minus four? Is he attacking an airplane up here in France, maybe? We weren't real good about highlighting what we were doing. Yeah, that was the guy attacking Calais. So now I'm... There's five, he rolls a one, so it's only one more. Then he goes to the... Flies this airplane up. And takes me up to full. And then he's going to... The airplane in the back runs up the other French aircraft. I think he left the British alone. Attacking there. He's it. D3. Uh, 
through in an airplane. Be plus two to plus one. You rolled a three, I rolled a six. So stop that. Then he has the Panzer Assault at plus three. Again, he's not using aircraft, so he rolls a four, I rolled a six. So stop that. Uh, then he does another assault. I think it's going to be on this guy here, if I remember right. He rolled an 8 and I rolled a 4, so I retreated. Oh, he was coming across the river. That's right. So he was 3 minus 1. So it should have been minus 2. Okay. Um, he was 3 minus 2, and he threw in an airplane to be 4 minus 2, so that's why he's plus 2 to my plus 1. I thought the river was enough to hold on, and it wasn't, so poof. And move this infantry in. And at plus 1 to plus 1, uh, he rolled a 2, and I rolled a 5, because I couldn't retreat. He was trying to get me flipped. And in, uh, what else did he do? Oh, we were trying to get back to the strategic movement that we never got to do. So now we're into his, uh, supply. He's trying to run supply out of here for the infantry unit. This one right here. So I, we just kind of put them out there so we could see. I'm attacking him, I think, with the French fleet. I rolled a four, he rolled a one, so he took two sorties on the fleet. And then I attacked the convoy. I only rolled a one, so it got through. <coughs> but I had Alder, I had the... Force H that could still attack, so I went ahead and did that. And then I go after him with Force H, who is plus four minus three. So it should be plus one. Or is it fair down here? What's the weather down here? Oh, the weather's fair. So it's plus four to his minus three for his fleet. <coughs> so, um, yeah, there is that. 7 to 1, so he takes 3 sorties. And in the convoy, gets bashed at plus 3. I rolled a 4. He rolled a 4, four minus 4, so he takes 2, and that supply is stopped. And then I think he tried to run the supply all by itself, and I went after it again at plus 2. Or no, there's the British, the French fleet at minus two, missed and ran him up a sortie. <sighs> and then Force H came after him at plus two. I rolled a five. He was going to get a one. So he goes up to six sorties, and everybody goes into low supply in here. That infantry should be at low supply. And then... Western action subphase. So I went ahead and attacked. I saved my tanks just for this very thing, because I was trying to get him at low supply, so he'd be minus two. And I will be plus three, minus one for the city. So I'm plus two to minus two. Um. Okay, so he's at zero, and I'm at plus two. I rolled a five plus two is a seven. He rolled a two, so he's actually flipped and retreated. And I take Tripoli. Come on, take Tripoli. So he loses a will point, his fleets go sailing off to Tobruk. 
Um, that was three movement points, so I attack again at plus one to minus two. I can only roll a five, so he's retreated. And then I attack the uh, garrison unit at plus one to minus two. Force it to retreat and go there, so that way he can't isolate me in Tripoli, and I have a chance to maybe, you know, bust through here. If I can keep him out of supply. Um, so that's my grand offensive. Then here in the... I get the guy that's in the wrong place and move him around to there. I get this garrison out of Dodge. I went into Vichy. Again, probably the wrong thing to do. Probably should have stayed in Lyon or Dijon. And then I bring the guy in with the convoy, and the convoy comes back here. And now the British. That was a mistake. Should not have moved that Greek. He should have just stayed where he was at. If he stays where he's at, it's a good place to be. So, strategic mistakes on my part. So I have the Western Desert Force come around and attack this way. So it's one, two, three, four. So I'm plus three to his zero. I rolled a five plus three is an eight. He rolled a six, so he held. So I attacked him again. Plus one, I rolled a four. He rolled a one, so he's retreated. And then I attacked him again. I rolled a two, he rolled a five, and we were done. So I took a space in, in Libya, but pff, not very good. Uh, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. What am I doing? Oh, I'm hitting back. You can get to eight there from coming down the rail line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And got adjacent to Tobruk. Then I was done, and I got to do my supply. What was I done? I let the guy in Alexandria go into low supply. Uh, I think we're done. And I moved my fleet to Tripoli so that I would be able to intercept into C zone 24. Next turn. Uh, we're in the no supply phase. We go into replacements, the axis. Place their aircraft, their fleets. French bring down their airplanes and their fleet. The British down Force H and their convoy. And there's no upgrades, mobilization. I don't know if he built his garrisons or not. Here was the west I built. This guy in Southampton, and I put the airplane in uh, the Western Indian Ocean because I wanted to try and do something in North Africa. Right, so now we're into the diplomacy phase for the Axis. They pull a no event. Uh, the British say put two no events in. The Russians go, let's pull a marker. Uh, no, the British didn't have any points. That's right. So the Russians put Two no events in there because they're just trying to dilute the cup at this point because uh, the British didn't have any points. They spent all their points to, rather than going for diplomacy, they built their army out. That's what it was. Okay, so uh, we got our stuff off the turn track. We're going to go to 
weather, I think. And that's it. And he rolled. Uh, where's the weather done? Oh, we know what it's going to be because it's going to be July, so it's going to be fair everywhere. So we didn't have to roll. Uh, so we're in July. We'll be where we attack, come back next time. So that was uh, April, May, and June of 1940 in the Cuckoo Campaign. Uh, as always, I am Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the like button so the algorithms and YouTube will keep this up for other people to find when they come looking for unconditional surrender videos. And as always, stay safe and bye-bye.